the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Jed Castles. Jed, today's certainly a day to be weather aware here in Oklahoma, but across the nation, just east of us, looking at some severe weather yesterday. Yeah, got us started yesterday. We had that uh, threat for severe weather in southeast Oklahoma. We had some large hail in southeast Oklahoma and also a few tornado warnings as well. Here's some of the large hail over near Fort Smith. We had a tornado warning there as it rolled across I-40. That kept going eastward, and boy, this uh, storm really pummeled uh, parts of western Arkansas. Low-hanging clouds, Big time storms rolling through and again the threat for some tornadoes there had six reports of tornadoes in Arkansas yesterday. Let's go and show you the uh, track on the severe weather here. This is looking at the shear tracks where the strongest storms were. You can see there were some storms down in southeast Oklahoma and for a while had tornado warnings near the Atoka area. You look along the Arkansas border from near Fort Smith and then over over toward the Little Rock area. That storm kind of worked its way eastward and you see that area there just north of Little Rock. This storm, I mean, barely missed Little Rock. This was a powerful tornado, large tornado, and this happened near the town of Cabot. Uh, also, Mayfield is in that area and just north of Little Rock is where that hits. So if you have loved ones in that area, definitely check on them, make sure they're okay. But again, big time severe weather from yesterday. Again, those where the storms were. You can see the severe reports, lots of hail along that path. Some of the hail reports were up above baseball size and that extended over into Arkansas. You see the red dots underneath that and from oh, Fort Smith area over down around the Little Rock area. Lots of severe weather in Little Rock. Six reports of tornadoes from yesterday. Well, now we draw attention to the next storm and it's a windy, big, powerful storm moving across the Rockies right now. High wind warnings from California all the way into Oklahoma. If you're traveling westbound, just remember that some of those gusts will be up near 60, 65 miles per hour. It may be stronger in the mountain areas. So if you travel west, you really got to be careful if you have to travel today. High wind warnings for northwest Oklahoma. Some of those gusts close, close in on 60 today. So dangerous situation. We've seen it here in the last week where these extreme winds create these big, uncontrollable fires and if that happens near a populated area you just got to scramble to get out of the way of this thing because they're going to move very fast they're very dangerous tough to control so our firefighters our thoughts and prayers are with you guys and women hopefully you all have a quiet day today but obviously the situation is very critical coming up for today then our attention draws to severe weather after 2 o'clock today from near I-35, really just a little west of there, and then into east parts of Oklahoma. Storms do develop, which is the possibility of a few of those here today. Baseball size hail, gust to 80, tornadoes certainly possible out of those as well. Just a very dynamic atmosphere with all those uh, high end conditions kind of ramping up. 64, south winds right now 17, kind of hazy on the horizon. You see the haze there? That's uh, from our downtown cam. A little dew out there this morning. You'll notice that on your windshield waking up this morning. We're going to crank it up 70s, 80s, and 90s. Summertime air in West Oklahoma, dry air. And that's the reason for that extreme fire danger behind that dry line today. Out ahead of it, showers and storms possible. Look closely here, but there'll be a chance of some rain and some storms near the metro area just east from near Shawnee, Seminole, Ada, down toward the Ardmore area. And if a storm fires up, like I said, got to watch it. Make sure that News 9 weather app is open. Our trackers will be out. We'll monitor those storms. Those shift off to the east here this evening and tonight as that cold front blows through and then a quieter day coming our way for your Thursday. Checking your 60s out the door this morning, 70s in your at 10 o'clock. We'll be up in the low to mid 80s with a few clouds run today. Windy conditions on the way as well. 50s, 60s, some 70s today. The winds are already gusty. That south wind streaming up that Gulf moisture. So you'll notice that today. Again, 70s, 80s, 90s on the way today. That cold front arrives with 40s and 50s behind the front. 60s and 70s out ahead of the dry line. And then a milder day tomorrow. 60s up around 70 as we have a strong west wind on the way. And we'll keep it on the mild side on into your Thursday forecast. Again, a tornado threat goes up through central into East Oklahoma late afternoon and evening. Large hail again up to near baseball size from near Oklahoma City on to the east. And then winds, very strong winds east. If a storm fires up, could be up near 80 miles per hour. Here's your northwest Oklahoma winds. Some of those gusts up above 60 miles per hour today. That fire threat keeps going on into tomorrow. 
So some turbulent conditions today. Boy, stay weather aware. West Oklahoma all the way into East Oklahoma today. Make sure that the News Tonight weather app is open, ready to go. 86 today. Near 70 tomorrow, some 70s. And here for Thursday, 80s on Friday. Right now, a few storm chances on the way for your Easter weekend.